your brain is divided into two halves, positive and negative, good and evil. It don't function on nothing else. Ain't no neutral ground in your brain. It's either positive and good or negative and evil. Each half of your brain has millions of factory workers on each side. You got a million factory workers on the positive side. You got a million factory workers on the negative side. At the forefront of each one of those factories in your brain is a foreman. You got foreman positive and you got foreman negative. You are in charge. You're the boss of the factory. So let me show you how this works. You got a remote control. You go to your house tonight and you press that power button and you press it. When you point it at the TV, what do you expect to happen? You expect TV to come on. No, no, you don't, no, no, listen to me. You press the power button, you expect the TV to come on. If you want to watch HBO and HBO is channel 300 and you press 300 and then you press select, what do you expect to come on that TV? And what comes on that TV? Okay, you follow me now. They got this concept from the Bible. Because God said a man is as he thinketh. And since he created all of us in his image, guess what? We are how we think. If God said let there be light, it was light. If he parted the waters from the land, it, it was done so. He gives you the same power to produce. You can't make a world, but you can make your own world. Yes. So now, since your brain is in two halves, let me show you how this works. You wake up in the morning and you say, man, I don't feel myself today. I got up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm not a morning person. Forming negative, her hears that. He steps to the front. He said, what did you say? You say, I said I woke up on the wrong side of the bed day. I'm not myself. I'm not a morning person. He says, you got it right away. He said, hey, the boss just woke up and said he's not a morning person. He's having a bad day today, and he ain't feeling himself. Let's get to work. The million factory workers start producing thoughts to justify what you just said. So now guess what? Man, I hate my alarm clock went off this morning. I got to get out here in this traffic. I going to drive down here to there. I don't even like these people on my job. I can't stand this car. I'm finna get in this morning. Sure wish I had a new car, but I'm driving this ragged ass car. And on and on and on. And your day starts tumbling into what you ordered at the top of the day. You could wake up in the morning and you say, you know what? Today is going to be a great day today. I expect something really good to happen for me today. Man, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. He said, what did you say? You said, I said, I'm having a great day today. I expect something good to happen today. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Forming positive turns around and goes, all right, let me have your attention. Steve's having a great day today. He's expecting some wonderful things to happen. And man, let's get it going. And they start manufacturing thoughts. Same brain, man. I can't wait to go to work today. It may not be the job I want, but at least I got a job. I'm so sure grateful I got a car to drive to work today. Hey, man, at least I got a check coming in. I sure want to thank you, Lord, for this roof over my head today. I appreciate the fact that I don't have a car, but at least I can walk to the train. Man, this is going to be great today. That's how your mind works 24-7. It never turns off. You have got to change the way you think. It is the whole determining factor of where you go in life. We are all where we are today because we thought ourselves to this position. Yes. If you don't like the position, think yourself out of it. Change your attitude, you change your altitude. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>